Here's a nice neat diagram, right? A hundred times better than what I could do, right? You can see I've got my external point right down here. Okay. I've got an orange tangent over there, a blue tangent over there, and then in black, there's the real guy I'm interested in. That's the chord of contact, right? Or well, I mean, in my diagram, it's the secant of contact, but you get the idea, okay? So that's what I'm interested in, okay? Now you can see what happens as I move around. As I change where my external point is, right? You're just getting, your, your tangents are moving, so your um, chord of contact is moving, no big deal, okay? Now what we're saying is, the chord of contact, this guy, and the equation of the tangent are really the same thing. Let me show you how much they're the same thing. If I take my external point, x0, y0, and I turn it into a point on the parabola, like so. Pause. Do you see what's happening? What's happening to those blue and orange tangents in comparison to the chord of contact? They're converging, aren't they? Watch. Uh, right there. In a sense, of course the chord of contact should give you the equation of the tangent, right? Because they're really asking the same question. It's just that those two points, right? Let me bring them back in. Those two points where those tangents that line up of your external point happens to become a point on the parabola, okay? So let me just do that one more time so you can see there the all magically line up. Okay? So don't be confused when you're like, why are there two formulas? Sorry, one formula for two things. Well, not really two things. They are the same thing in different circumstances, depending on where this point that you're interested in is. Is it off or is it on? Okay? Any questions on that? So what if you put it like Ah, yes, that's a good question. Now of the things on here, um, I may try and give you a link because I've saved this. If you can see in the top left hand corner, so I can link this to you if you want. Um, you can see how I've manufactured it. You just okay. Um, you can see right. So there's x naught y naught, which is uh, anywhere I like, and you can see as I move the point now. Now instead of watching the point, all the stuff on the right hand side, watch what's happening on the left. Okay. So as I move the point, you can see the values of x naught and y naught changing. Right? Depending on where I am, because just it's just following wherever I drag that point on there. Okay? That was convenient. Okay? I got x squared equals four a y in there. So if I wanted to change, you know, the the concavity of the parabola, I would say, well let's make a, you know, let's make it a bit fatter. There you go, that's a fatter parabola. Okay, and put something put it over here or something. Okay. You can see now, let's have a look. What what's going on here? What's that at the top? The very top. That's, that's the equation of the chord of contact, right? That's x0, x, x0 equals 2a, y plus y0. All of this business down here, right, I have to get these numbers in order to work out where these tangents go, right? I can't just say, please work out this tangent for me. I need to give it the right equations and coordinates. And the way I did that was, do you recognize these orange and blue equations? y equals px minus ap squared. I've just got two different, I mean, I could have called that p and q, I suppose, but... I've got P1 and P2, and that's why I've got coordinates there. Look, 2AP, AP squared, and I've just fed it all in. Now, in fact, you can see the colors. They match up with that orange point and that blue point, which give me the tangents. Okay. Yeah, but why does it disappear when you move it? Like, ah, okay. So, so when, I, when I put this guy inside, right, do you see what's happened? A couple of things have, have broken for me, okay? How did I get the point where, points rather, where the tangents are intersecting with the parabola? Right? Well, I had to go back and do some of this stuff, but you end up not getting real solutions. So that's why I don't have any, my blue and orange points have disappeared. Do you see that? But it still moves. That's right. Okay, because <laughs> because the values, even though they're not real, we'll get to this next term, you can still do maths with them. You can still do plenty of maths. Just like, just like, <coughs> if you take um, mm, x squared, hold on, b squared minus, minus 4ac, if you, right? Uh, and you do its discriminant, it'll be negative, okay? Um, so you, you can't get roots out of this, but you can you can the roots, it's on A, and you can still work out the product of the roots, it's C on A, right? They're not real numbers, but you can still do mathematics them, right? You can still do mathematics with where these equations should go, even though it can't find these points. 
Just geometrically, why can't it find points? Okay, so so algebraically, algebraically, yeah, algebraically these numbers are negative. So, if, but geometrically, what it's trying to do is from that black point, it's trying to find tangents. It's trying to find tangents. There, by the way, you cannot draw. That will be tangent to the parabola. Because look, I'm inside the parabola. Let me come back. Every tangent, do you see? Let me make A a more reasonable value. Do you see every tangent, right? They're all outside the parabola. They all stay outside the parabola. There's no way you can draw a tangent that goes through the parabola because then it wouldn't be a tangent anymore. It would be a secant, right? Um, so therefore, when I go inside, you, you can't make, you can't make tangents in there. 